morning everyone and um, this is going to be somewhat of a spontaneous video um i'm working today as you can tell by the attire um and i found myself delivering to a wonderful place down in newton Abbot called trago mills and um, those of you that know of this place um it's great i mean it's got everything in there's like a family fun park as you can see like water slides and parks and all sorts of got like a little farm area but also what it what it has is a massive indoor shopping area that they sell everything like clothes food tires for the car you can buy a bath a shower it, it, it's fantastic like there's just so much here that you can do and so much inside that they sell it's fun it, it's amazing and i only just realized this morning at half four when i loaded that i was delivering here today um because that's one of my jobs and i was like well i'll tell you what it's been so long since i've been here probably two three years we're going to have a look round. i'll show you guys round. um don't have susan sully with me because didn't even know we were going to be here um but yeah we'll have a little mooch round, and I'm, I'm gonna go on a hunt for disney and harry potter things and see what i can find um and just show you some of the random stuff that they've got in there so let's go and dive in can see there's everything you can think of clothes cars cards cars on the wall all sorts of stuff and first wall Disney what Disney oh if Sully was here now even though there's nothing to put in it yet you would have to have that back Ooh, 3D castle. Some Disney memorabilia there. So Frozen 2. Elsa and Anna in the new outfits. £20.99. Not a bad price. That massive Frozen 2. Fold and go Arendelle castle. So you can just carry it around like a little suitcase. Open it up and play with it wherever you are. Forty-six ninety-nine. Excellent. Yeah. Aladdin, hundred and one Dalmatians. Snow White. Dumbo. Love Dumbo. Mickey. This Mickey one's quite cool. Ninety years, quite classic. Ten ninety-nine. Quite tempted by that one. Very tempted by that one. Love the Trump. Cinderella, oh Lion King, big fan of the Lion King. Excellent selection of puzzles there for ten ninety nine. Here we have a wonderful aisle. All things Marvel. Bit of DC in there as well. We've got some fantastic beasts. A Niffler, plush with sound. Where's the sound? Is it his hand? Where is it? Oh, 
No. Or maybe you have to put batteries in them or something. And then nickel a coin purse. That's what they're called. Just open up his... <laughs> That's funny. Open up his tummy. Put in your little gold in there. Another niffler love shiny things. Little sorting hat key ring. Mystery flying snitch. Two ninety nine for the snitch. Wingardium Leviosa kit. Oh, that looks cool. So you actually can make the the trick happen. Oh, I see. So it actually looks like you're making the feather fly. That's pretty cool. I mean, this is like a proper remote control flying flying snitch, twenty six ninety nine. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. See, this I haven't seen before. I've looked at some of the Lego bits and pieces, and I've not. Well, we've not really started on that that road yet, but. This is the Harry Potter Ravenclaw common room Lego kit by the looks of it. It's $27.99. Oh yeah, Hogwarts Moments Charm class, sorry. So you get Professor Flitwick, Cho Chang and Harry Potter and you get the charm class and it folds up. Well, that's Hufflepuff, isn't it? You can collect them all. Yeah, you can collect them all. This one's actually Hufflepuff, though. This one's Hufflepuff. Just the, the thing says Ravenclaw, but this one's actually Hufflepuff. That's very cool. That's very cool. I could, I could see myself, I'm going to put that in the right place, just for my own thing. Uh, and they're still selling the advent calendars from Christmas. Either they're still selling last year's ones, or they're ahead of the game for this year, so you've got advent calendar and you get various bits and pieces one each day which is pretty cool Ron and the gramophone Harry Potter and the fireplace so that's quite cool and then this one looks like a great hall banquet type situation yeah with the tree and the different housemates presents um, looks like these are all 24.99 each so yeah they've got the banquet one and the Yule Ball one. Very cool. Very cool. I could uh, I could potentially get into that. Just found a very, very cute Frozen 2 Lego item there. Very cool. That's the Salamander. That's 11.99. And then the Princess Elsa and the Knock Storybook Adventures, that's $17.99. And again, different ones for you to collect. So if you're into Lego and you love Disney and Harry Potter, then there's definitely some, some options there for you to consider. You've got the generic Disney Princess one, all the different, uh, Cinderella and the Fairy Godmother, that one. Ariel, Sebastian in there. So yeah, some very, very cool... Lego things that you can get involved in. Got some cars, crazy eight crashes. No, that's what he's got this one, I'm sure. But I don't think he's got this one. I'm sure he doesn't have the taxi. So, which one? Should treat him to one. I think he'd like the taxi. I'm gonna go with that. I'll pop that in the basket. Ah. They also have dinosaurs. Getting serious uh, Velocicoaster vibes right now. Ready for Jurassic Park at Universal Studios. It's so violent, look, the things on the shelves are shaking. <laughs> I could be in Universal Studios, it's great. And we're well and truly into the sports section now. I mean, all in the middle is just clothes and wellies and, 
uh, every type of thing that you can think of. I mean, this place is huge. We've got like cycling and snooker, darts, cricket. I mean, it looks like uh, they're having quite a busy sale at the minute here, bikes. As most of you, or well, some of you won't know, maybe you don't, we have a caravan and we go on caravan holidays. We got it during lockdown because um, our Florida holiday got cancelled. So we thought we'll try something different. So yeah, we got a, a caravan and it's great. Some pretty cool stuff. Oh, a travel clothesline. We don't do washing in the caravan, we do it when we get home. It's too much fun. Takes away from your, uh, takes away from your activity time. We do wash in Florida. Oh, these would be cool look, for, for water rides. Put like your, your phones and stuff in. Yeah, they'd be pretty cool, wouldn't they? Additional tents and blow up beds and. Now this, I could get on board with. Look at that. For putting all of my merchandise in. That's nice. If you've, uh, for those of you who live in the hot tub life, went quite, quite big during lockdown, didn't it? See, this, this just gives me Discovery Cove vibes. I would love to be in Discovery Cove right now. Floating on a unicorn. Or a cute little fish. Oh, in a plane. Oh yeah. They've got some excellent GoPro attachments. This is very cool for underwater swimming. But I'm gonna go with this. It's a wrist strap for the GoPro. Eleven ninety nine. Story for stationary packs. His son is just about to start preschool, so he's not ready for this yet. But when he is, that massive kit that's four ninety five. That's pretty cool. We got a frozen two one as well. Some more frozen two bits there. Toy Story. Mini colouring set, mini station set. Crocs, are they a thing? They're not a thing. I've been told they're comfortable by many a people. Susie thinks they're ugly. She's a firm no. I'm on the fence. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. So we've come across this very, very cool Alice in Wonderland drinks bottle. We're all mad here. It's a fantastic design. Keep your drinks hot and cold. What are they? 11.49, not bad at all. Just want to show you guys this. We have actually bought one of these. Uh, for our caravan and we've used it in our little caravan to 
make all sort of uh, breakfast. Like we actually, su well, I say we, Susie made a paella and it was absolutely fantastic. And this little thing, 14.99, 14.99. Let me tell you, that's one of the best 15 quid you'll ever spend, especially if you've got a caravan or you do sort of holidays like that. Oh, there you go, look. Paella, paella, whatever. Yeah, very, very good and well worth the product, especially 15 quid, we paid way more than that. I think we paid 35, so there you go. Good little bargain. Oh, how I wish that these were Mickey shaped waffles right now. 19.99, get yourself a waffle maker. I mean, you could always, I suppose, cut your own Mickey shape into it, but the closest we'll get for now, but soon, very soon. I found the mug aisle. Will there be a Disney mug? Let's see. Um, um, not seeing. Haha. There we go. That'll do us. Captain America. That counts, right? Yeah, of course it counts. Disney and Marvel and that, don't you? I mean, no, it's not the same as being in the uh, the Disney stores themselves, but... Oh, this is a very cool mug. Starting my adventure. 99p. They're cool. I like them. And this dude with glasses. He is very cool. Not a bad range of mugs. So, question. Do you guys use these things? The reusable straws. This is 79 for a kit. It doesn't seem bad. We're contemplating them. Probably has with these we, these paper straws. They're all for eco-friendly and stuff, but suddenly just chews them and then he can't get his drink out. No, See, no. so, uh, Tim Tracker, the trackers are branching out into merchandise in the UK. <laughs> Shout out to Tim and Jen there, and of course, Little Jackson. We have more Disney goodies. Got a lunchbox there. $6.99. And then the three piece Forever Princess dinner set for $5.99. I found more Harry Potter posters, just 99 p They'd look pretty cool in a frame if you've got like a Harry Potter vibe room. Mm. Oh, I like that. I like that. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> These are the bigger posters. Look at that. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Have that hanging up somewhere. And the big ones. One ninety nine. Let's see what they got. Oh, Harry Potter quotes. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Clearly, fame isn't everything, is it, Mister Potter? This is brilliant. Dobby is a free elf. <laughs> the people walking past me looking at me very strangely right now. This, I think this one is, if I was gonna have one of the big ones, it would be that one, I don't even need to look at the rest. I would have that, because that is amazing. A very cool one to finish the poster section off with. A big old baby Groot. Oh yeah. getting really cool sort of astronomy tower vibes off these clocks. That one, that one. I think so. Yeah, that's the one. This 
is quite fun, next to the storage boxes and the washing lines. There's a sausage fridge. No, I love a pork sausage in a baguette with chips, but why are they next to the washing lines? Confused. Ah, the luggage section. We can but hope that one day soon we can board that plane. Would it work? Like, if I kept walking around like this, does it feel like you're in a? Does it feel like you're in an airport, waiting for your bag? Oh, any minute now, our bag will come through the door. <laughs> People looking at me so strangely. an energy drink, a bag of crisps and a full-blown kitchen in one shop. It's amazing. These are always on our shopping list when we go to Florida. These are absolutely perfect for the water parks, Discovery Cove, even just by the pool because the, the floor and the ground gets so hot when you're there in the sun. And you can wear these in and out of the water as well, so they're fantastic. Always a must for us. Excellent water shoes, four ninety nine a pair as well. Bargain. And I think this will do us as our last find inside the mega store. We have Harry Potter and Disney in one place. Toy Story four wallpaper. I'm sure Sully would love this. Eleven ninety nine. The Marauder's Map wallpaper, which I would love. Don't know what room, but let's have it anyway. For twelve forty nine a roll. No. Oh, it's glow in the dark. Oh, I bet that's cool. I feel like I should get some just to try it out. <laughs> I don't think Sue would be very happy, but. I think it'd be cool. So we've had a good shop inside. Got a couple of bags of bits and pieces. I'll show you what we got later on. I'm just gonna take you along the row of shops and restaurants here I pointed out to you earlier. Um, we've got a little farmer's market behind us as well for fresh veg and produce. So I'll just flip this round. So there's like a whole separate massive section just for like a building center and you can buy like tools and things. Mobility center there. And then this is the row of shops I pointed to earlier from the other side of the trees. We've come out on the other side now. So here you've got Pinocchio's ice cream. I mean, that's almost meant to be, isn't it? I can't, I'm being good. But there's Pinocchio's ice cream, Pinocchio's calf, Pinocchio's fish and chips. It's like it's meant to be, my favorite Disney film. And they've all got their own food outlets. Ah, here's my friend from earlier, the Peacock. Hey, Mr. Peacock. There he is, Pinocchio, the main man. Lovely takeaway here. That's where we had the sausage and baguette from before. Do a little shout out to Mark Baker. We had a sausage baguette and chips from there before, before we did a gig, because we sing in a group. Um, called the bass tones, check it out. And um, yeah, we came here for the day out. That's how we really found out about the place. And we had an afternoon tea, a sausage baguette and chips before we did the show. What a wonderful day. <laughs> well, it's 
bike or anything. Yeah. Those pastas. So it gets so busy here, they have to have two lots of pasta shop, which is absolutely amazing. So they've got a pasta shop, an Indian takeaway, fresh baguettes and a bakery. Plenty of toilet facilities. And then you just get this beautiful, beautiful scenic view and places to sit and eat. So then over the other side there, that's where we were. So I've come back out of the main complex and turned left because there's another section. Now, I would imagine in the summer when things are probably a bit more on track and sort of, you know, back to normal a bit, these sections will be open a bit more, but you've got things like Kids Trampoline Park there. And then over here, I'm gonna try and show you, I don't know how close I can get actually, one sec. So you've got a bumper boat lake over there, doing bumper boats and stuff. And then you've got like a go-kart track, uh, race the go-karts up and over. And somewhere around here, I think there's a skate park. I think it's down that way, I could be wrong. So you'll, you'll see from a lot of the video that I shot today, these outside kids area places, they're very sort of, well, just it, they're not open, so they're they're just getting them going again. They're going to be cleaning them up, um, tidying them up, ready to welcome people back, which will be great. Because uh, I remember when we came before, um, it, it was packed. I mean, they've got over a thousand car parking spaces, so many different restaurants and shops, and the the big main shopping complex itself is fantastic. I mean, this is a fantastic day out. They've even got an animal farm park. Um, which is huge and looks like it's it's being all done up again and getting ready to reopen. So you really can have a fantastic day out here and I might try and get Sully and Susie along and we'll have a proper slowly does it day out um, and, and really sort of make the most of it, have a good mooch around. And Anybody else feeling Harry Potter vibes from all these uh, walkways? And it's great, isn't it? <laughs> Look. Do, 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 do. I mean, they're just pigeon houses, but you get the vibe. So yeah, it's it's great. It really is great. And I think once it's back in its full swing and everything's open and the place is full of people again, and the energy and the atmosphere is going. And with weather like this, it's gonna be a great day out. Huh? 